Windows MR VR headsets are incredibly cheap right now. You can get them off of Amazon for $200 and that's new, including the controllers. And now you're wondering, are they any good? How do they compare with Rift, Vive, PSVR and what games can you play? How is the controller tracking? Now stay tuned because I'm going to weigh in with my opinion and let you know everything that you need to know. Coming up. Hi and welcome here at Mixed Reality TV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click the bell button so you don't miss anything. The Windows MR platform is only a couple of months old. It only launched in October 2017. And at that time, the headsets cost around 450 US dollars. Let's have a look on Amazon.com how much they are now. All right, this is Amazon.com. Let's have a look at the prices. Here is the Lenovo Explorer for only $246. Now, this is one of my favorite headsets. It's super comfortable. Then here we have the HP Mixed Reality headset for only $201, including controllers. This is a wonderful price, fantastic. Then the Dell Visor, only $219. And also the Acer headset for $218. So it's really, really cheap. So is it worth it for you to get one of those Windows MR headsets, like for example, the Lenovo Explorer for that really cheap price? Now my very, very clear answer is yes. And that is from somebody who has spent countless hours in all of the headsets, not just the Windows MR headsets, but also the Rift, the Vive, PSVR, Daydream, Gear VR, all these headsets, I've used them for countless hours. And I can tell you, yes, go for these headsets. They have a fantastic price and they have lots of things to offer. Let me go through it one by one. Now you might wonder for $200, what do these headsets have to offer and how can they compete against the more expensive Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, PSVR and so on. Now I can tell you they have a lot to offer. First of all, I think most important for most of you guys, can they play all the games that the other headsets can play? And the answer is yes. These headsets are fully Steam VR compatible. So you will be able to play all of the games that are offered on Steam VR. On top of that, you can also play the games that are offered on the Oculus Store. So yes, you can also play Oculus Rift games through a software called Revive. And if you have a look on my channel, I have a tutorial there that teaches you how to make that happen. On top of that, you can also play all the games that are in the Windows MR store. So you can play games that are not available on Steam VR and on the Oculus store, like for example, Halo. And in the future, there will be a dedicated Halo game just for the Windows MR headsets. So there's lots of exciting content for you if you get one of these headsets. Also, in this year, they will most probably be compatible with the Xbox One X. So you can also use them with your gaming console. However, that is still in the stars. I cannot give you a confirmation for that, but it seems to be happening in this year. So yes, lots of content here on the Windows MR headsets. So how about the visual clarity of these Windows MR devices when compared to Oculus Rift, HTC Vive and PSVR? Now, the resolution of these headsets is 1440 times 1440 per eye. And this resolution is better than what Oculus Rift and HTC Vive have to offer with their 1200 times 1080 resolution per eye. And I can tell you this difference is really visible. The picture looks better and sharper when using the Windows MR headsets as compared to Rift and Vive. And also much better than PSVR because the PSVR even has a lower resolution per eye. So visual clarity is pretty, pretty amazing in these Windows MR headsets. Now, what about the FOV, the field of view? Now, the field of view is the angle in which you can see things when using the VR headset. And that's really important for immersion because you don't want to have these narrow field of view, which makes you feel like you're looking through binoculars all the time. So also in terms of the FOV, this headset, for example, the Lenovo Explorer is really good, offers around 110 degrees field of view. However, even though it says 110 degrees field of view, 
I would say this still loses against the HTC Vive in terms of FOV. However, it's very, very close to these headsets. So FOV is really nice, especially for this one. And well, for the other headsets, I did not try all of them. However, also because the prices are so cheap, I'm also going to order the HP for $200. And once it arrives, I can tell you more about the FOV of that device. However, FOV is very good, very comparable to what's on the market and you won't feel bad about the FOV at all. Even compared to PSVR, this actually has a higher FOV. And if I would compare this directly to Rift, probably it's around the same. But against HTC Vive, HTC Vive still has a higher FOV than the Lenovo or all of the other VR headsets that are on sale right now on Amazon. Now let's talk about how the Windows MI headsets and the controllers get tracked in space. Now that is really different as compared to Rift, Vive and PSVR. So these headsets have two cameras here in front and these cameras constantly check the environment. Now with these cameras, the headset knows where it is in space and therefore it does not need base stations like PSVR, Vive and Rift. So this is really, really convenient. You do not need base stations for that. You only put in the USB and HDMI plugs and that's it. So you can simply bring this to a friend and plug this in into your friend's computer or probably you simply bring your laptop and you're good to go and you're able to jump into VR. So really, really cool. So this kind of tracking is called inside out tracking. And you might ask yourself, how well does it work? And I can tell you it works really, really well. Actually for the headset, you won't find any difference as compared to the other systems. And for the controllers, they will also be tracked really, really well. However, I must tell you also for the, for the controllers, the, the controller tracking is not as perfect as compared to the Rift or Vive. So this is a little disadvantage. For example, if the controller is outside the field of view of the headset, let's say if it's behind, behind your head, then you won't have tracking. So that is a little disadvantage of this technology. However, in I would say 99%, you won't have any problems with it. And actually I made a whole video about how good the Windows MR controller tracking is. So if you wanna know more about the controller tracking of the Windows MR devices, please do check out the video that I made just for this purpose. And I'm going to link it in the description below and also via a card that should appear here now. Let me also talk about the controllers that come with the Windows MR headsets. So you'll get two controllers which are tracked with six degrees of freedom just like the controllers of the other systems. Now, what is cool about these controllers is that you have a joystick, just like the Oculus Rift controller, but you also have a trackpad, just like the HTC Vive wants. So why is this convenient? Well, you can play all the Steam VR games that are made for the HTC Vive, and yeah, you can simply use the trackpad here, but you can also use the joystick for the Oculus Rift games. So you have kind of a two in one controller, which is really convenient. And then of course you have the trigger button here for your shooting games. And you also have a grip button here. So overall, I would say that these controllers are good. They get their job done. However, I would say that the Oculus Rift controller, the Oculus Touch is still better in terms of ergonomics. So in terms of ergonomics, they could be much better, that's for sure. Look at this. Like It doesn't look very ergonomic, right? You can tell here. But I would say they are good enough. And well, if you can get them for $200, including the headset, that is such a steal. And for sure, you won't regret it. So in the end of this video, I would also like to talk about comfort. How comfort are these headsets? And also I can tell you they are really comfortable because they all use this kind of PSVR style where all the weight rests on your forehead. So these headsets are incredibly comfortable and they are again very convenient because they all have this flip up mechanism. So if you want 
to grab your beverage, <laughs> which might be beer in my case, then you can simply do so. And it's super, super convenient. Very nice. And well, you won't find that on the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive. And well, that is really a plus point. And for example, the Lenovo Explorer, which is actually my favorite of these headsets, it's incredibly light. It's super light. You will not feel it when you're wearing it and you can stay in VR for hours and hours. So let me sum up my answer here. Yes, you should absolutely go for one of the Windows MR headsets, especially since they are so cheap right now. You can get them for 200 or 250 US dollars off of Amazon, including the controllers, which is just such a steal. You can play all the games from Steam VR. You can play all the games from Oculus using Revive. You can play all the games from the Windows MR Store. These headsets are super comfortable. They offer a great resolution, which looks better than the resolution of the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift and the PSVR. And they are super comfortable. It's a joy to wear them. There's really no reason why you shouldn't invest $200 to go into VR. Now, that's my summary of this short video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And actually now in the end, I would also like to tell all the people who are not in the States that you can still buy those headsets for really, really cheap. And actually right now, I'm going to buy one of these headsets off of Amazon US. So if you're in Europe, you can still order these headsets for a really cheap price. Let me show you just how cheap it's going to be for you. Okay, this is the bonus part of this video for all the people who are not living inside the United States. So I, for example, I live in Germany, in Europe. And if I would buy, for example, the HP headset off of the German Amazon site, I would have to pay around 400 euros. But well, I can simply go to the US side and I'm on the US side now and I click on HP Mixed Reality Headset and Controllers and here. This item ships to Dortmund, Germany, where I am. And the price is going to be so $201 plus $82 shipping and import fees. So overall, I will pay $280. This is shipped and including fees. And if I convert that to euros, that's around 230 euros so i can get this headset for 230 euros which is an incredible steal so after i finish this video i'm going to order this headset and once it arrives i'm going to give it a full breakdown i'm going to unbox it and of course i'm going to give it an in-depth review so definitely stay tuned to mixed reality tv now if you have any more questions about the windows mr headsets or about vr and ar in general you can leave those questions in the comment section below. But much better, you can directly chat with me or the MRTV community on our MRTV Discord server. The MRTV Discord server is a fantastic free resource and you can simply get there by clicking on the link in the description below. You will find me there, you will find the awesome community. It's fantastic, it's a great resource and you should absolutely go there now. It's free, check it out and meet me there. I'm waiting for you. And that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed to Mixed Reality TV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.